Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about one of the functions of dplyr package which is one of the very useful package in R for transforming your data into information. So let's go ahead and talk about the filters in dplyr in this video. So in my previous video I have talked about how you can do the select operations on your big data sets which has many columns. So we have uh, seen it on the empty cars and build data set about the different ways you can do the selection on the data columns. And in this video, I will talk about how you can filter the data uh, based on uh, your needs or your requirements for doing the analysis. All right, so that's about filters in dplyr. First of all, let's go ahead and import the library, which is dplyr for doing the data manipulation and then Let's start with very simple examples. So first of all, let's see the data, which is empty cars again, just to maintain the consistency. And here we have the empty cars data set with different variables, which is miles per gallon, cylinder, displacement, horsepower, with a lot of variables. All right, so let's say we want to select only those uh, values where cylinder is equals to six. So if that is the case, which is a very, very basic case, let's start with that. So first of all, cyl underscore six is the new object we want to create and we want to say filter within the filter, specify the data set, which is empty cars and say that you want cyl equals to equals to six. That's all you need to do and hit enter. If you see head of cyl underscore six, you will get all of the values which are related to the six. Now let's go ahead and do a different operations where we, let's say we want to see, say that we want all the values where miles per gallon is greater than 18. So MPG underscore 18 and 18 plus is kind of a intuitive name we want to give. Uh, and we want filter and empty cars and MPG is greater than 18. Go ahead and add it. So mpg underscore 18 plus all of the values which are greater than mpg if you want greater than and equal to well greater than equal to mpg 18 plus still name is still relevant so now you will get the similar the pretty much same value but if you see the entire data set if there is any value which is 18 it will also be included so that's first few observations. So similarly, you can do less than equals to greater than equals to greater than less than whatever you need based on this data set. Let's say we want uh, for values where both cylinder values four and six are there. So for that, we will say filter uh, previous command, which was CYL underscore four underscore six, because we want both four and six cylinder. So you will say CYL percentage in percentage and within the concatenation operator, we will specify four, six, hit enter and put head CYL underscore four underscore six. So now we have the values for both CY, uh, cylinder four and six. Let's say we want the values where the cylinder is not in uh, 4 and 6 and only the cylinder with 8 value so for that we will just go ahead and go to the previous command and put not sign before the cylinder and we will change the object name to 8 to make it relevant and hit enter if you want to add cyl underscore 8 well you have all the values where cylinder value is 8 because we have specified that we don't need this exclamation sign saying we don't need those values where cylinder is within the value range of four and within the value of four and six. So that's how you can specify equal to where values is in four and six and where the value is not in four and six. Now let's say we want uh, to, uh, to add two more, uh, to add conditions where we specify and and or. So things like, uh, let's say in cylinder we have four, six, and all and within the automatic and manual we have one and zero for both the cylinder six so let's say we want to get only those observations where cylinder is six 
and automatic and manual is one. So let's say uh, CYL under six underscore one to indicate automatic and manual and we will say filter empty cars and we will say CYL equals to equals to six and AM equals to equals to one. So now if we see head of CY L underscore six underscore one, you will get only those values which is CY where CYL is six and value is one. <coughs> the same is apply on the or. So now we want to say that either it is CYL uh, cylinder is six or AM is one. Any of the condition is true, then give us the value back. So we will say instead of ampersand, we will enter the pipe operator and hit enter. And now see the head CYL score six underscore one, and you will get uh, you know the mix of values because you are using the OR operator. So the basic idea is that how we can use the AND and OR operator. If uh, let's say for some examples you don't want to specify ampersand and want to be very intuitive when you are specifying the variables, let's say cylinder is equals to six and am is equals to one what you can do is as a as a alternate operations for ampersand is you go back to the previous command which is ampersand and say comma so this is equivalent to your ampersand and where you are saying that give me empty car theta where cylinder is six and am is one if there is any other condition put a comma which will take it as an end so hit enter and now if you will see you will get the very similar output which we got it earlier c underscore six one for cylinder is six and automatic and manual is one. so this is a another way where you can specify the condition which is comparatively more intuitive i would say uh, for a normal user and for programmers definitely this is the one where they would really want to use it because they are used to of it so these are some of the very basic and uh, multiple different ways where you can you know put conditions in your data set and filter the data so that's pretty much all uh, understanding i wanted to give you about uh, how you can filter the data and specify these operations and get the desired output and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic